like just a show of hand, like is there anybody who is like self-taught here? I'm not like speaking. Okay, so that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, like, so like you haven't been through like a proper university kind of education because that's my background actually. So when I was like talking about, so when I actually spoke about this in the junior death, so when uh, when Ken actually saw my title, she's like, why are you talking, like why do you say that your project is pointless? Because like to me, when I'm like a self-taught developer, like I focus mainly on front end, when I do projects, sometimes it's like you really just do it for fun. It's like, what do I want to get out of this? It's like, Nothing, like it's just like a Raspberry Pi LED, it looks like a typical kind of like poly kind of project, right? So, like, so that's like, I feel that there's really not a lot of value in my project when I started doing this and it's really just for fun. And like, why do I do that? You know, like in my whole life, I can tell you like, my whole life is just full of random stuff. So I'm gonna make this talk really casual, really um, chill, you know? So who am I? So this is actually my background. I used to be a show presenter, I used to be a dancer, but bit showing, that's because that's actually my background. So, yeah, so, so why? So I slowly moved into the tech space, because you know, like being a show presenter, I'm a very lazy person actually, like, you have to wake up like really, really early, like 5 o'clock, and you when you reach home, it's like 8 o'clock, I was like, okay, I don't want that kind of life. But it's like, and again, it's about the kind of impact that you're actually doing, like when you are wet, when you're in tech, the kind of impact that I feel it was like, wow, it's just amazing. You really reach out to a lot of people. Because it's, it's like universal, it's like it breaks down barriers and stuff like that, right? So, okay. So that's how I got into Raspberry Pi. Okay, it's just, it's like, yeah, because like some people didn't know I was Raspberry Pi. So what I really learned from this project is like, there's a GPIO and sometimes hardware is really random. It's like, why the hell do you have like a GPIO this is like a GPIO 16, you have 12 here, and then you skip to 20, then you have 19. I was like, oh my gosh, like what is this? But it's always about learning new things, you know? Like when you learn new things, you kind of get to uh, integrate into whatever you are doing right now. So I think like this project really helped me in that sense. Okay, I think I'm gonna show you what this is about. What this uh, project is about. Okay, so, huh? Oh. Oh my goodness, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Maybe I'm Yeah. Which one? Yeah. Nah. It works? Okay, so this is to save time I have already SSH into my Python. You wanna increase the font? Alright. Um, how do I do that? Control plus? Okay, learning new things. No, it doesn't work. This is like a party. I don't know, like I usually just do a... All the way? Uh, property. Now, anyway, this is not important. <laughs> This part is not the important part, it's okay, we'll move on. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run my bot. Okay, so it's written on Python. It's like all about like open source, I just get a lot of uh, different open source stuff. And, okay. So let me see if I can show you this. Live demo. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, a live demo. The previous time I screwed it up, but this time, it's gonna happen. Okay, let me just fix this first. Yeah, I was like, I couldn't SSH in. So like, this time it's gonna be charm. Like, this time it's gonna work. Okay, select. Alrighty, connecting to this so that you can see this better. And this is where it got awkward and really silent. Okay, so what I did, so I actually control uh, my Raspberry Pi with Telegram. So if you can see that. So if you do this, okay, let me just minimize this. All right. So I think you can see this. Yes, thanks. Okay, yeah, thank you. So for example, if I do a red, Ta-da! Okay, it works, yeah, it's nothing fanciful. 
Okay, so because I love colors, so that's like green, yeah, blockchain, yeah, stuff. It's a bit light, blue, and okay, let me off this. Okay, and because I love sound, let me do this. I think it should be this. Oh. Yeah, so you have to keep very silent to hear that. Okay. Yeah. It's the Mario. So it's like the Mario style. Yeah. Okay. And it goes Mamma Mia because that's like what Mario is like to say, right? I would like. And of course, there's like the last one, the fist bath test, because to show that I can count. <laughs> <laughs> Just like blink, blink, blink. Okay, on three, it blinks the other color. On five, it blinks the other color. On three and five, it kind of just blink the other one. Okay. Nice. Yeah, so this is just to prove that I can do a form, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, and because it's like, okay, so, so that's the end for the Raspberry Pi. Because it's like, it's always very boring when you do like an error message and, and the board actually say, I don't know what you're saying. So for example, if I were to type something nonsense, right? So I actually call out a uh, API key to do like random code. So every time you type something, so it's like, you know, it's like when you say, oh, I, there's like an error, I cannot find your message, it's kind of boring. So yeah, it's a, it's a bit slow right now. So I kind of like, okay. Oh, this is a very interesting code. Then I like shape of which a frog is more easily driven than a single one. It's all random. Yeah, so, okay, I think it's not working. <laughs> yeah. So this is like the lock. So whatever command is being, put on is actually locked to the console, your user and your command. Right. Okay. So. Okay, so this are, uh, oh my gosh. Yeah, so like for me, like it's a lot about plug and play. Like when you're self-taught, it's sort of like, you get read the code, you see like what can you apply, it's a lot of plug and play. So there's a lot of uh, open source library out there in the GitHub, which really helps me in my development work as a freelance developer. And right now I also work in a blockchain company, so very, very grateful. So I want to end my talk as like, when you think about like, why do you want to do pointless stuff? It's like every time when we do something, when, every time we do a project, it's always like we have an end goal in mind, right? A lot of time, like in Singapore, it's so stressful. You're like, oh my gosh, I want to do this, this, this. I must have the object name. It's about ROI, KPI, blah, blah, blah. And, Boss is always telling me you need to earn more money, earn more money, revenue, revenue, cut costs, cut costs. I was like, okay, like sometimes, but sometimes when you start to do like pointless stuff, you really start to see, you just inject some more fun in coding and it makes you like, you just want to like reignite your passion. Because sometimes when you code, you kind of like, you feel like a code monkey, you're just like, oh my gosh, I'm churning this out like day after day, and that's it. So this is like the whole point of doing like pointless stuff, which is like, you just reignite that passion and fun in coding again. That's it. That's my talk. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, Sam. So we still have a lot of time. So does anyone have any questions for her? What's your next pointless project? Next pointless. I actually want to do like a raspberry robot, which I can sense before and shoot out missiles. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Yeah.